Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Uh, taking a look at our current surface analysis, uh, no precipitation in our immediate area at the moment. And looking at our upper level winds at uh, about the 1,000 foot level, we have winds coming out of the west at 19 knots, um, but actually decreasing mainly throughout the, uh, as you go up in the atmosphere, at 25,000 feet coming out of the northwest at about 15 knots. Uh, the freezing level is 13,000 feet. And as you can see on our visible satellite, we still have um, a bit of clouds in our area, um, but nothing too crazy at the moment. And then looking at our uh, short-term model, you can see again that we don't have um, any precipitation in our area right now as we move throughout the next few hours um, with uh, threats for storms beginning in our north and potentially moving our way um, these will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms um, as we move throughout the afternoon and evening and then as we get into thursday morning they will begin to clear up and looking ahead over the next few days, as you can see, Thursday, still some rainy and stormy conditions um, throughout the day. And Friday will be a rainy day as well, but less of a chance of any type of lightning or storms during the day Friday. Uh, Saturday might have some lingering showers in the morning, uh, but should clear up uh, throughout most of the day Saturday with Sunday and Monday looking to be some clear and um, nice days for us. And then Tuesday, as we get into the morning, um, there is a slight chance that we could see some precipitation in the early morning hours of Tuesday. So that's something that we'll be keeping an eye on as the launch comes up. Um, and taking a look at our 24 hour weather risk um, again the temperatures are in the low 80s right now and will be increasing steadily um, throughout the next few hours uh, chances of precipitation beginning around two um, uh, but that's just a slight chance around 20 percent uh, increasing more so as we get to 1700 local um, to about 30 percent and that uh, chance will um, continue until about midnight tonight and then those chances will drop off again to about 15 percent as we get into the early morning hours of Thursday. Um, we'll also see a slight chance <clears throat> for some low clouds this or, uh, Thursday morning um, and then our tides are going to be normal. And looking ahead uh, at the next week, um, as you can see again Wednesday we have got 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening uh, with a high of 87 and a low of 72 tonight. Um, Thursday, we're going to see a high of about 84 um, and also a chance of showers and thunderstorms, a bit more of a chance on Thursday at about 40%. Uh, low of 68 as we go into Friday morning uh, and a high of 73. So. Um, not the 80s that we've been seeing the past few days, a little bit colder, but still um, definitely warm as we're seeing showers throughout the day Friday. Uh, getting into Saturday, we might have some scattered showers in the morning, um, only about a 20% chance and a high of 78. And Sunday and Monday, pretty similar days um, with lows in the mid to upper 60s and highs in the low to mid 80s. And Tuesday, again, we'll be keeping an eye on that slight chance of uh, morning showers and thunderstorms um, that could potentially affect the launch that we have coming up. Um, and that's all for your 10 a.m. weather briefing. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow at 8.15. Have a good day.